Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Lori, and I'm going to do your daily reading for you. I have just rolled the Zodiac die, and you have rolled, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans. You have rolled very strong Gemini, Aries, Taurus, and Cancer energies, okay? Those could be the signs of people that you're dealing with. You know that. But it could also be signs within your own birth chart, the characteristics of those signs that are activated in your own personality at this time. All right, let's go ahead and ring the large chimes and clear out any negative energy. Uh, it's going to be loud, so please protect your ears, especially if you're wearing earbuds. Three, two, one. I'm also going to ring the little chimes and invite in some fun and lighter energy. All right. Good, good, good. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I just want to take one more moment and say thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. You guys are awesome. I absolutely love my community. And we had an awesome live stream. Went two hours. You guys are amazing. That was so much fun, especially at the end there. That was awesome. So look for the notification. I'll be putting something out about Tarot Party. Okay. So if you're interested in attending a Tarot Party, please email me. I will. It will be just like it says. We'll have some fun. I'll do some Tarot readings. Um, it w there will be a fee uh, for it. But let me know if you're interested in attending. It will only be like 10 people at a time. So it'll be a small, intimate group where we get to know each other. And that would be like the maximum number. So it might only be five, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is going to be for your daily message here. Well, I got two cards. Let's try that again. The Hanged Man, of course. <laughs> that is April's energy, is the Hanged Man. All right, let's see what we've got here. Got the Six of Swords. I like that, okay? That tells me you're moving past that hanged man energy. Whatever was um, causing any type of distress or having to have effort, energy put into it. Um, this feels like paperwork, documents, arguments, anything of that nature where your head, your thinking, um, anything like that. Uh, came into effect, okay? And you're you're moving away from whatever it was. It's over. Well, it may not be over completely, but you're moving away from whatever it is. Things are being processed, going on. So Six of Swords, good energy, good energy. Things become easier. Your energy becomes lighter. Um, I'm hearing you may have to send out a few more messages or you'll receive a couple more messages and then you'll just have to reply and everything will be taken care of. So that's not bad at all. This does not feel heavy, burdensome or anything else. It feels very, almost very freeing. Like you, anticipation of knowing everything will be taken care of. Okay, you've done your part. Now you just have to wait. All right, let's see what the challenge might be to this energy. Oh, the five of wands, okay? But it came out in the reverse, so it. I'm hearing that the challenge is over, okay? That this, like I said, you've dealt with whatever um, situation you've, you had going on or will have going on. You deal with it very, very quickly. Um, again, I'm getting in a situation of like a bill or taxes, um, insurance, car insurance, health insurance, house, something. You owe something. And you just need to send paperwork back and forth, messages back and forth. Here, you need to get, submit this. Here, um, here's my credit card. Here's this, here's that. And it's done, okay? So it's just a little bit of back and forth, but you will get through this very easily. Very, very easily. Yeah, I'm going through that right now with my... Um, uh, trying to find a new place to live. Like, here, make sure you send us this when you get it. Um, have you got that? It's that kind of energy. So it doesn't feel difficult. It just feels like you, this is what we have to do next. All right, let's go ahead and see what is on your mind here. What are you thinking about with this situation? 
how is your brain handling this? <laughs> um, you're trying to just be peaceful with it, go with the flow. You know that there's a lot of things that you don't know. You understand that. And because you understand that, you're in a very good place because that way you're not surprised when you're requested for more information or maybe you just don't know when this is going to be over for good. Okay, when's the last piece of paper going to be signed? When do I get to move into that new place? When do I... Okay, so that's kind of what the energy is here that's on your mind what you're thinking you know that everything that you need to know will come to you okay you just don't know when and that's okay or how it will come to you you're making peace with it you're you're just answering the calls as you hear them or get them whatever it is all right let's see what we have at the foundation of the situation here i keep picking the cards up Four of Wands, this is what you're looking for. Completion of a goal, ending, so that you can be happy, celebrate, move in. Um, yeah, this. I feel like a lot of people are moving. A lot of you Libras are moving, relocating, setting. You've set goals, you've set something, uh, your eye on a prize, and here it comes. Okay, this is what it's all about. You're just making your way towards your goals. This, You know this will bring you in some sort of stability. I also have to point out here, I am going to just put this up right, four, five, and six. Four, five, and six, okay, right in a row. So this is good. Let's see what your immediate future looks like. Oh, that's not it. Look, justice in the four of cups. Um, justice was on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what your immediate future is going to look like. Let's see what's happening here. I, and that Four of Cups which suggests that you're waiting. You're just waiting for the things to be balanced out, for the decisions to be made, for the last I to be crossed. No, the last I to be dotted. And the last T, whoops, T to be crossed. That was my fingernail across that piece of cloth. Sorry. If for all of you who are listening podcast-wise, I apologize for that. All right, Ten of Wands is the immediate future. Look at how you've come down off the hill. You've scaled the mountain. You're on your way to easier times. Look at that. Heading towards an easier future. Completion. Closing out the door. So uh, closing the door on this. Everything's taken care of. Look at you moving. Look at this. You got your bags all packed and they're on that yak. My bags are packed and they're on the yak. Sounds like a song. Somebody write it. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a wind at your back. You got a breeze at your back, propelling you along towards the beautiful future that you're looking for. So whatever weight has been on your shoulder, whatever's been holding you back, blah, 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 it's over and done with. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we have here is the past. What was happening in the past that influenced this particular situation? Oh, and now, if, even if you're not moving physically, it's a moving out of the energy of being stuck, okay, with whatever was happening in the past here. So let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if the hangman card came out right now. Seven of Wands. Okay, so you were just holding out, waiting, okay? Um, something about limitations, uh, restrictions, requirements, just keeping your peace while you got through all of this. I'm also hearing refusing, um, like, refusing to take no as an answer. And look at this. This is a card seven. So you have four, five, six, whoop, right back to seven. And then you have 18, which could be a nine, and then 10. So things are moving. They're definitely progressing. This energy in the past, though, tells me that um, you knew something might take a little bit of time. You were determined to keep your peace. You were in your own little bubble here, refusing to let people burst your bubble, as the saying goes. You were meditating. You may still be doing some of that, okay? But this is your past energy. You are meditating, having clear intentions, not letting the little challenges, okay? And that's what I feel like each of these little wands down here is. Um, maybe somebody's saying, hey, hey, I need your attention over here. Okay, all right, I will get that paper to you. I will sign that. I will give you this information. I will make this phone call. 
whatever it is. And then the next one comes up. This is the energy you're going to be keeping, okay? That peaceful, serene, the divine at your core, the stardust at the core, meditation, so that you can maintain your sense of equilibrium. Okie doke. Let's see how you are viewing yourself in this situation. What's going on here? I'm hearing that song, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper by, um, I believe it's Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult, or um, what's the other one there? Yeah, I think it's Blue Oyster Cult. But anyways, I'm hearing Don't Fear the Tower, okay? It's Don't Fear the Reaper, but it's Don't Fear the Tower, because the tower is just an opening. It's, it's bringing down whatever's not, whatever's holding you back, okay? Look at that. Got a seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which would make it a double seven here. Let's see. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. How do you feel about this? You're planning. You're strategizing. Look, it's a seven. Seven of swords. Double sevens. Good fortune coming your way. Yeah, see, it's about having a strategy, talking things through, communicating, seeing the signs, receiving the letters, receiving the information, and then sending it out. Okay, putting it into practice, a plan, a strategy. I'm getting something about protecting what is yours, too. Why am I getting that energy? You have the Seven of Wands. I wasn't feeling anything negative here. Okay, this was all beautiful, positive energy. But this, there's just this little, little bit for maybe one or two of you of, I'm getting this energy of like I'm holding on to something loosely. I'm just holding on to it like this and somebody comes up and just starts pulling on it. I don't understand what that is, but if you know, drop it in the comments. Explain, okay? You've got some splaining to do, Lucy. Um, if you're wondering, you can drop what move or what TV show that was from. All right. For most of you, though, this is just about planning, strategizing, back and forth energies here. You feel like you're handling everything just the way it needs to be. You're keeping quiet. You see things clearly. Um, you're overcoming the, you know, your molehills. You're taking mountains and making them into molehills because that's what beaches are. They used to be mountains underneath the ocean anyways receiving confidence just doing what you got to do you know you're you're not talking about it to everybody you're not complaining about it you're just doing what has to be done so you're feeling confident capable all right let's see what's happening in the environment around you if somebody is trying to pull something away from you or pull you away from something uh kind of hunker down Okay, hold your own without, re resist without conflict. Okay, just keep it to yourself. Oh my gosh, look at what just came out here in your environment. The justice card. Absolutely. Things will be made right. Everything's going to work out just fine. I do feel like some of this is legal paperwork. Others just bills, um, responsibilities, requirements. And whatever it is, justice comes in here for you. Here you are, right here, okay? Now we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> With double sevens, that good fortune. Anchoring it all. I love it. One seven over the other. Anchoring this whole reading. Justice is coming in here. That's in your environment. So fairness, balance, happiness, joy. Look at this. I thought this was the card that came out, but there was another card under it. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Stability, confidence, community, taking care of what you need to take care of and still having enough for yourself down the road. Your happiness, you're feeling connected like with the yourself, with the universe, that everything works out if you just, just surrender. Don't fight it, okay? You're not fighting it. You're making peace with the situation, letting things go, healing, and letting justice come in here. That's beautiful. All right. If it's your message, claim it in the comments, okay? 
Tickle tab, boop or zap that like button if you, if, if this resonated or you just like this message. This is a beautiful message. Six of Swords, Four of Wands, Justice, Ten of Pentacles, and Ten of Cups. Come on. That's an awesome message here for you guys. Just stay on track. Do what has to be done. I know. I can, I keep feeling that energy of like, oh, man, I got to pay this bill. Oh, goodness. I got to call this company. I got to do this. I got to do that. And I... You know, you can overwhelm yourself with the worrying about all of it. But it, I just sat down and it took me less than an hour to take care of all of those things that have been going through my mind that I need to do. And I loved checking each one of them off on my to-do list. So that's how you're in. This is the energy of what you're about to enter into here. Okay. Overcoming whatever comes your way. Just dealing with it. Angel number 1717, self-reliance. Exactly. You don't need to call anybody else to call, take, come in and take care of anything for you. The time has come to rely on your own self, your knowledge, your wisdom, and your personal ambitions. You have an important soul mission and a life purpose. Whatever makes you happy is your life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength is what is going to allow you more for more of your path to unfold okay you'll clearly know what you need to do next and when you get rid of the negative energies of worry stress oh how am i going to deal with this and just deal with it beautiful energy you're free you've got all this stuff up in front of you opened up in front of you just as ten of pentacles and ten of cups here's your positive affirmation if you so choose to use it as i take leadership in my own life my life will bring me a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Beautiful message there. All right, my loves, I hope you have a fantastic day. Until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading, just email me. I'll send you all the information. All right, until then, take care.